The name of this chapter is Destruction. And we needed that destruction because we needed to do this. Why do we need to do that? For those who've been watching this, because we're trying to build something that has generational changes. As you can tell, I'm a physician, an emergency room physician, family medicine board certified. I have a passion for the health of the individual and the health of the community. So 13 years ago, my wife and I started a charity to do just that, to try to improve that in our little sphere. And how we're doing that is by building a indoor mountain bike park. So the kids in the Midwest and the kids at heart have something to do during these awful Midwest winters. So we had to break some stuff in order to fix some stuff. Hope you enjoy the episode. Let's do the dang thing. Now this indoor paintball arena was going to be on the third floor of the West building. Uh, this is where the bank vault and the offices are currently before the demolition. I think it's time to swing some hammers. So let's do it. As I got to the end portion of this wall, you can tell as I knock these last few bricks, it starts to sag. That's when I realized that I needed to figure out a solution to take down this ceiling built for the Armageddon. But I was able to figure out some very OSHA approved methods of leaning ladders and angle grinding surgical procedure. Now, most of this upstairs was the old office. There's a bank vault, a couple bathrooms. I think this is an old conference room. We've already done some tearing down, but this is where all the destruction needs to be so we can have the paintball. Now, how do you gear up for something like this? You jump in the pond, boom! I don't know if it's a Y chromosome thing or just being raised in Harney County in Eastern Oregon, but one of my favorite things growing up was just going to the city dump with my dad and he would unload the trailer and I would just walk around with like a rod or a bat or a lamp pole and I would just find things to break. So I'm pretty sure like I've been prepping for this moment and, and this building for my whole life. Now one of the largest challenges that I've had with this building is getting rid of and organizing and managing all the material that I'm trying to use, save, and just get rid of. Um, so because this was on the third story, I was not carrying this tons and tons of trash up and down three stories. So I found an old window that was all busted up anyways. It had a cut-in uh, window that they use for some point. Anyways, I decided to get rid of it, which is awesome because I got to cut and tear out and push things off of a building, which is always fun. And so we popped this out. And once this window was completely out, then we basically were able to just have a uh, one and a half anchor trash can right out to the window.
a good old fashioned Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! Now, if this next part doesn't scream ADHD squirrel on pixie sticks, nothing does. I hadn't even finished one wall when I turned around and was like, ooh, I want to break that. And I completely shifted gears. But can you blame me? Sometimes you just need to see visual progress. Now, this is going to be the access point when you're coming in from the sky bridge of the great room into the office space, which will then go into the third floor uh, street uh, level or access to the silo all the way downstairs. Now, once this was out, I have to be honest, my entire motivation to knock it out was to try to make another trick shot. <laughs> and I got so close. Now, the annoying thing was every time I shot this and missed it, I had to walk, find the ball, walk all the way back up the stairs and shoot it again. I should probably only do these shots when I have someone to rebound. It'd make it incredibly more efficient. Now I love playing around, but I love the principle of deep work. And now it's time to do some deep work. I had to figure out how to take down that cement ceiling. And uh, it took a huge concrete saw to break it up, chop it up into hollowable under 200 pound a piece slats. And I couldn't have done any of this in any sliver of a respectable time frame if I didn't have the amazing people of Quincy that come every time I announce a demo and cleanup day, always at least 10 to 40 people show up. It is amazing. Sanctimonious pile. Oh, feels good. That wraps it all up for the day of destruction. Now all we have to show for it is a massive pile of debris and trash. I love it. Beautiful. Did I say that that was the last bit of debris? Why do I kid myself? There's always another layer. Let's get it. Now one of the things I'm super grateful for is that most of these walls are made out of what's called Pyrex, which is made from gypsum. As far as I understand it, it's basically drywall material. So even though it took a lot of effort to break it down, it was relatively light to haul out. Now behind this door was cool because I found a window, which just makes me excited because of the history of the building, which helped remind you that this building was built in stages and uh, it was actually two connecting building with an addition. It's just so fun to discover all this stuff. I think I've discovered why I like these time lapse video and more importantly, why I like the destruction. I think it's the inverse of puzzle making for me. I like to deconstruct something that's put together and see it done in a fast paced manner. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. That's why I like it.
Check it out. Another window. I love it. That just means more natural light, more character. Let's pop out some glass. You know, my favorite thing. Destruction. Now, at first glance, you might look like there's nothing being accomplished, that they keep on clearing and throwing away the same stuff. But you don't realize is I'm down on the lower level cleaning up and I'm tossing it up to them, who then is carrying it up to the third level, who is then tossing it up to the next person, who then wheelbarrows it over to the window, throws it out. Teamwork, baby. Now this next part does not do it justice, but it took two grown men with two full-size dollies to move this. It had to be at least six or 700 pounds. Ooh, now it's for Christmas time. Putting up the lights. It's like the Midwest redneck, but it's inside. So I need this because I had to turn off all the power to be safe enough to be able to take down all the ceilings and lights of the offices and everything but I had the paintball thing coming up, so we got these construction lights, hung them out. They look cool. They're able to provide some light for our evening games, and uh, it just looks bad. I love it. Now that the space was cleared out and all the lights were up, now I needed to create a guardrail for the paintball, but also with some anticipatory planning, this is going to be a ride over trail that connects this floor and the sky bridge coming in from the great room that goes into the silo room. Um, so we had to build this, uh, super excited how it turned out. And that wraps it up for this chapter. Uh, I hope you have a good time. Please consider subscribing. Please consider donating. Link will be in the uh, prescription. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I may or may not be working right now. So, anywho, do it. Knuckles. Noggin. Butterfly kisses. Scooping. Bloop.